searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. This is WCPO 9 News. We thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. The Kentucky Labor Cabinet tells me it is opening an inspection with DHL. An employee at the hub at CVG was hurt while working near a plane last Saturday morning. Neither DHL nor CVG will clarify what the injuries are or what led up to them. But we know that employee was taken to UC Medical Center. We're going to keep following up on this story for you. For the first time in three days, Ohio is reporting a lower number of new coronavirus cases. The state's reporting 503 new cases, well below the 21-day average. The total number of cases is at 31,911. 13 new deaths reported Sunday, also well below that 21-day average. Memorial Day ceremonies look a little different this year. In Delhi, the memorial service today went online. A private wreath laying ceremony streamed on the Veterans Association Facebook page. The names of the township's 19 service members killed in action were read aloud along with a playing of taps. And they got it in just in time to dodge those early evening downpours, Sherry. Yeah, we had several of our counties with flash flood warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings, but that is going to fade as we go into the latter portion of the evening and overnight. We're going to see temperatures go from a high of 87 to 67 as we go down overnight, and we'll see mostly cloudy skies. Now, for your Memorial Day holiday, it's going to be a little bit more of the same. Heat and humidity, temperatures near 87 degrees, and we'll see showers and storms developing during the heating of the afternoon.